This view of the model will give us an opportunity to better see how the spermatic cord enters the peritoneal cavity. Here is a closer look at the spermatic cord as it enters through the external inguinal ring. The blood vessels and nerves and the, the ductus deferens goes through the inguinal canal and exits from the inguinal canal at the internal inguinal ring. These large vessels represent the external iliacs and here we can see the continuation of the ductus deferens. It's going to go behind the urinary bladder. Right over here this cut tubular structure is the ureter. The ductus deferens continues to the posterior side of the urinary bladder Right over here, it enlarges. There is a swelling of the duct, which is referred to as the ampulla. It is going to join up with a duct from this gland, which is the seminal vesicle. And the seminal vesicle here has been cut open to show the very complicated looking interior. Right over here, this gland is only one is the prostate gland. Now notice that the prostate gland is right n next to the rectum which is right over here and hence it is very easy for a physician when he uh, performs a digital palpation to feel the surface of the prostate gland. Now we're going to remove a part of this model to get another look at the way the ductus deferens is going to join up with the duct from the seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle is going to join up with the ductus deferens and the secretions from both are going to then form the ejaculatory duct. Right over here, this is the prostate gland. So you can see how the ejaculatory duct is going through the prostate gland and is going to open up into the urethra which is right over here.